Well, we know access to affordable and high quality health care is critical for everyone's well-being. And for decades, one clinic in Denver has responded to that need. Tepiak is seeing an increase in the number of patients they serve without insurance. The clinic says that number is about 70 percent, making it one of the highest percentages for community health centers in our state. Your reporter in Denver, Jasmine Arenas, looked into what's behind this increase and how people can help out. On 48th and Vine Street stands Stepayak's new clinic, which opened its doors about a year ago. Our previous clinic was about 6,000 square feet. Uh, this bu building is closer to 25,000 square feet, so it's about four times the size. Inside the state-of-the-art clinical facility, there is a dental clinic, a mental health clinic, and even a pharmacy, which is critical in this part of North Denver. There's not a pharmacy in this area, and so... Uh, uh, being able to offer a pharmacy that's available not only to Tepeyac patients, but also to the broader community is meeting an, uh, a huge need. But quadruple in size also means more patients. Within a year, we've already increased our capacity by 47 percent. We have 2,500 new patients. The clinic serves as an important safety net provider for underserved communities in Denver. Even as their number of patients without insurance increases, they find ways to make it work. We rely on uh, the revenue that we receive from Sources like Medicaid is a critical source of revenue for us, um, private insurance. But that has been difficult to rely on lately. At least 800 of the clinic's patients were disenrolled from Medicaid coverage after the COVID public health emergency ended last year. And every dollar that we receive through Medicaid helps us to uh, provide services to uh, patients that are also uninsured. The clinic is not the only health center dealing with this. Over the past year, 500,000 people in Colorado were disenrolled from Medicaid due to no longer meeting eligibility criteria. That became a major concern for us uh, to make sure that um, we understood what the, what the issue was and make, made sure that our patients understood what, what their eligible for. For Jim, community donations and private insurance patients are key. And so people that come to us with private insurance really helps us to be able to offset the uh, the cost of services that we provide to our uninsured patients. And so um, and the foundation community and private donors have been incredibly generous. In Denver, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. And Jasmine covers the stories impacting Denver neighborhoods. So if you know of something going on in your neighborhood that you wanted to check out, just reach out through our website, cbscolorado.com, and you can always call the